Hi guys, I'm back today with another video and today we are doing a FIFA 17 rating discussion. So today we are talking to you about from 50 to 31. So we've got 19 players um, from FIFA 17, their confirmed ratings. So we're going to be talking about them right now. Um, so yeah, let's do this. First off, we have got a 86 rated Blaze Matuidi in CDM. Um, looks like an all-round solid player, 84 physical and 83 defending. Two star skill moves, not really too keen on that. Next, though, we've got a very big shock to um, everything, um, and it is Marcelo, 86 rated, um, and he's got a free rating, four star skills, so I'm very happy about that. Best stats being 84 and 82. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video. Um, I'm going to be uploading so much FIFA 17 content. It is unbelievable. It's going to be crazy. Also, Infinite Warfare, if you're interested in Call of Duty as well. Um, so, yeah, you won't want to miss my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And, yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you could. And I'll be uploading every single time one of these comes out. I've already done a video on this, but it didn't do very well. So, I'm re-recording it right now. Um, so, yeah. So next we have an 86 Aubameyang. Now everybody was expecting him to get a massive upgrade this year. He's gone up two ratings, I do believe. Um, he went from 82 to 84 to now he's gone from 84 to 86. Um, still got 96 pace. Still free star skill moves. Doesn't matter though. His best stats being 96 pace and 84 shooting. Next off we've got two big massive shocks. Um, well they're not massive to be honest. They're just quite shocks. Then the first one is Dimitri Payet being an 86 rated player oh my god he's gone up four ratings i do believe um from and he's got moved to the left mid now as well 77 pace i'm not sure about that on the wing his best stats being 87 dribbling and 87 passing now the next shot we have got iron robin being an 87 rated now he's gone down like three ratings that's a big downgrade for robin um, also, he's gone down a quite a lot of pace, I do think. Um, 86 pace he's got now. 90 dribbling still. That's good. Um, his best stats being 90 dribbling and 86 pace. Now, two of the next ones are James Rodriguez uh, being staying the same as an 87. Um, got 76 pace, 84, 5 shooting, 85 passing, 85 dribbling. Um, free 85 stats, to be honest. They're his best stats. Um, four star skill moves. Looks like an all round amazing player. I just can't wait for FIFA 17 next year. I'm so hyped, as you can tell in this video. I am so hyped, it's unbelievable. Next off, we have got an 87 rated David Silva in left mid, um, four star skills. I remember him being an 87 left mid in FIFA 15. Then they upgraded him to an 88 cam in FIFA 16. Now they're taking him back to a left mid 87 in FIFA 17. So I don't really understand that. Um, next we've got 87 rated Benzema getting upgraded by one. Uh, four star skills, four star weak foot. 81 pace, 82 dribbling, 84 shot. Uh, 77 passing, 74 physical, all round amazing player, um, looks sick, his best stats being 84 shooting and 82 dribbling, um, next we move on to 87 rated Vidal, now we've got two more left of this next nine, um, and then we go on to from 40 to 31, so yeah, we've got Vidal, 87 rated, 77 pace, could be in the Hullet Club in his first or second in form. So make sure you look out for that on FIFA 17. Um, so yeah, every time a like team of the week comes out, I'll be uploading a video. So you don't want to miss that as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited for FIFA 17. Now the next one that I'm quite shocked about as well is Sergio Biscuit's got an upgrade. And I don't get how because he didn't have one in form last season. I don't know if he played well because obviously I, I'm not in the BVA or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, and he's gone up by one. Uh, 42 pace, that is terrible. Um, his best stats being 83 defending and 81 physical. Next off, we've got an 87 rated Handanovic. Going up three ratings since FIFA 16. Got 86 diving, 86 reflexes, 89 handling, 86 positioning. Six foot four, didn't even realise that. His best stats is 89. Um, so yeah, he looks like a sick goalkeeper. Next off, we've got an 87 Mats Hummel. Uh, playing for Bayern Munich now, which looks so sick. Um, he's got 64 pace, 71 dribbling, 88 defending, 74, 77 physical, 74 pass, uh, passing. Um, looks like a sick defender, to be honest. It looks like he'll link really, really, really well with uh, Boateng. Now, that is something I forgot to mention, guys. And that is Boateng hasn't been mentioned in this list. And he like he was on uh, he was on a video, um, uh, on EA's video, and it had like a 90 rated. And if, if he is 90 rated... This is going to be the best FIFA ever, legit. It's going to be so sick. Um, so next we're moving on to another German Bayern Munich player uh, by the name of Thomas Müller. 
Um, he fished that's being 83 shooting. I I loved him on FIFA 7. No, I love <laughs> FIFA 7. Yeah. I loved him on FIFA 16. Um, so hopefully I love him in FIFA 17 as well. Now the next two players we have got Di Maria, 87 pace, 87 dribbling, 79 shoot. <laughs> 79 shooting, 84 passing, 70 physical, 4 star skills, his best stats being 87 pace and then 87 dribbling. Next we've got Alexi Sanchez, an 87 rated left wing card. Look at his head, he looks like a bloody granddad or something. He literally looks like a granddad, I'm being serious now. Um, but we've got an 86 pace, 88 dribbling, 82 shooting. Has, has he gone down some pace? I swear he's gone down pace. Let me know in the comments if he's gone down pace. Um... His best stats being 86 pace and 88 dribbling. Um, next we go on to 87 rated Rakitic. Um, gone up 3 ratings from FIFA 16. Now that's a lot for him. But then we have Oblak who's gone up 5 ratings for a goalkeeper. 83 diving, 82 reflexes, 90 handling, 87 position. He looks like an insane goalkeeper to be honest. And uh, we ain't even seen Neuer. We ain't seen De Gea. We ain't seen Courtois. So if you haven't seen my FIFA 17 leaked ones um go look at that video that was basically showing you some of the goalkeeper ratings so yeah next off we've got an 87 rated Benucci going up five ratings i think or four something like that he went from 83 so that's four um yeah he looks like an insane player he's the same rating as chiellini as in fifa 16 now i don't know if that's right i don't know if he had a good season let me know in the comments if you are like italian or anything because i don't i don't look at any other league except from sometimes a bundesliga and some and most of the time bpl uh, his best stats being 87 defending and 81 physical now the second from last player we have david alaba going up two ratings he's an 87 rated player now um 86 pace 83 dribbling 73 shot 83 defending uh 73 physical 81 passing uh Four star weak foot, he's amazing at free kicks, but if you don't know, free kicks look really hard in FIFA 17, so it's going to be hard to take free kicks. Uh, but going on to the last player now, and it's the highest rated player of this episode, and it is Hugo Lloris. Now, I'm really happy about this because obviously I support Tottenham, and um, he's like my he's like my favourite goalkeeper that is here at the moment. Um, I, th I do think he's one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Um, I think he's better than De Gea. I'm sorry. Uh, Man United fans, but I do think he's better than De Gea. I don't. I just think he plays like better more often than De Gea. Like De Gea, I'm not going to get into the little rant about it, but um, yeah, we have an 88 rated Lloris, 87 diving, 90 reflexes, 87 handling, 82 positioning. Looks absolutely insane. His best stats being 90 reflexes with 87 diving. So guys, basically that is going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Also subscribe. I'm going to be uploading like the 30 to 21 and then 20 to 11 when they come out, which I do believe it'll be tomorrow or the next day. Uh, um, so as soon as they come out, I'll be uploading. So make sure you're on my channel for that. It'll probably be about half six because I'll be literally ready as quick as possible. It'll be probably an unedited video um, so I can get it up as quick as possible and be the first person to do it. Um, so yeah, make sure you, you subscribe for that. Help me get to 1k subs, that would mean a lot to me. Can we get 25 likes on this video? That would be insane. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.